So, I'm out of the surgery now. It was all such a success. So that was me getting my boob job done at 18 years old, freshly turned 18. And I'm 21 now, so I've had my boob job for about two and a half years, but I think I was a bit too young to get it done at that age. Looking back, there's quite a few mistakes that I made that I wish I knew better at the time. So I was young when I got my boob job done. The reason I got it done was when I was 17 and I moved to London by myself, I was already really independent. I had YouTube as a job full time. I'd moved hours away from my family. Hi everyone, first official day one in the house. So like the world was my oyster in my head. And when I moved out, I gained a lot of weight. A lot of you guys probably already know this about me. It put me in such a bad place. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to socialize with people. I avoided every mirror. But then I put my foot down and I decided to lose a lot of weight which I did, but I'd also lost weight in my boobs and they just weren't sitting pretty like they used to. It was sad, sad times. So yeah, I did what usually happens. I helped one insecurity, which was my weight, but then a brand new insecurity took its place and that was my boobs. So consultation day, I booked in for my consultation and then went to the clinic and if you book that first consultation, like you are, you're probably gonna end up getting it done. What people don't realize though, is that the gap between your first consultation and the actual surgery day isn't that big. I waited a month until my surgery day from my first consultation. So it moves pretty quick, but I mean, I wanted to get mine done as soon as possible because I had it in my head and if I have an idea in my head, like I want it now, <laughs> like I'm going to do it and I need it done ASAP. The woman who's really nice and I just spoke to her about my concerns. I showed her my boobs, took my top off and I was pointing out what I liked and what I didn't like and then she recommended what she thought I should have done. One thing though, they don't say much, like they don't give too much advice so you have to go in there knowing exactly what it is that you want because the whole consultation it was basically me doing the talking and her being like okay yeah yeah if that makes you feel better then yeah yeah. So it really is all down to you. I feel like they can give a little bit of advice which she did. She recommended that I get an up lift and implants because I was mainly worried about the positioning of them and how they looked and how they sat. So yeah, she recommended that I get an uplift and implants and I went for 250cc implants. Now, this is what I mean when I say that there's things I wish that I knew at the time. Oh, by the way guys, just before I tell you what my biggest regret is about getting my boob job done, please subscribe if you haven't already. Apparently like 65-70% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if that's you, then actually I'll try a different method. Subscribe or you get 10 years bad luck. I don't know if this is me just being dumb, I don't know why I didn't realise this, but at that consultation, I sat down and she gave me the implants and I was feeling them, looking at the different sizes and stuff. They were so heavy. Like, those implants weighed a lot. And I didn't actually deep the fact that I'd be sat in my boobs. And it weighs a lot, so gravity's obviously going to do its thing and they're going to drop a lot more than I wanted them to. But obviously I would have never known that in a million years until I actually went and had it done and went through the experience. I mean, looking back, I feel like it was kind of obvious, but I'm dumb as hell sometimes. Because I don't regret my boob job. I just don't like the way that they sit naturally. I wish that they were more like up. Right now they look up, but that's because it's like tied around my neck. So these babies are like hoinked up, you know, <laughs> like a bikini top. But you would never catch me wearing a low cut dress with no support or bra on just because I don't like the way that they look. And I hate that I'm saying that after I got a boob job done. Like, why don't I like the way that they look? And I know that right now they look good and you're probably watching this being like, oh God bless her, she's so insecure for no reason. But if you saw how they fell naturally, you'd like understand it a bit more. I think anyway, maybe I am delusional, but if I'm already thinking this two and a half years after getting it done, what happens when gravity really starts to take form and like six or seven years. God damn it. So yeah, consultation day, the conclusion was uplift and implants and the total cost came to £6,495 for both. Left the consultation feeling on top of the world, so happy, like I was excited. There was not one bit of nerves in me. I was just like, get me some new boobs. I want them and I want them now. After you've had the initial consultation, you have to have a meeting with your surgeon just to get to know him, feel more comfortable, talk about any worries. And I had that booked in for around two weeks after. So I went to see him and took my top off again. You gotta get comfortable with being naked in front of strangers if you're doing this, by the way. I took my top off and he was like feeling them. And <laughs> Sounds a little sus, but it's not. He was like feeling them and giving it. <laughs> the fact that I'm doing it like this, because that is exactly how it was. Ugh. 
He was kind of old as well, but... Oh, by the way, guys, I go to Bali in a few days. So if you want to see what I get up to, then follow my Instagram. I'll be posting stories and stuff. And I think I'll be doing a Bali vlog. But yeah, he was feeling them just to figure out if he should go over or under the muscle. And my boobs weren't tiny before. I'm pretty sure they were like a cup size B. I never really knew. You know, I never get my bra size measured. I just pick a bra and I'm like, oh, that'll do. <laughs> I'm so like, no, I'm just not organized with anything. But yeah, I wasn't completely flat chested before I got my boob job done. Like my boobs are still like squidgy and stuff. Like there was, you know, you could play with them a little. <laughs> but that was his main conclusion. He was like, you can get away with over the muscle implants. He said that it's easier recovery time. And it won't be as painful. I mean, there's not a world of a difference between them both. It's very minimal surgery day. So about two weeks after I'd seen the surgeon, it was my surgery day. So I went back to the clinic. So today is the big day. It's surgery day. Brought with me a little overnight bag and they put me in my own hospital style room. But it was actually really vibey because I had my own place. I remember saying to the nurse being like, wait, I get a room by myself, right? Like I'm not on a ward with like six other patients, am I? And she was like, no, you've got your own room. So I was like, thank God, thank God. Went into my room. They gave me like a hospital gown, like nighty thing to put on. I got there at like nine o'clock in the morning and they have slots throughout the day where they've got people booked in for different cosmetic surgeries. I think it was mainly boob jobs, but everyone had like a two hour slot where they were like on the operating table. <laughs> The way I'm describing this is making it seem terrifying. I swear it's not off. I think my slot was maybe 2 till 4 p.m. or maybe 3 till 5 p.m. So I just sat there vlogging, waiting for my name to be called. And then the surgeon came in before it was my slot. Got naked again. Classic. I was so used to it at this point. And he just starts drawing out markings on my boobs, like for where he's going to perform the surgery, I guess. The doctor that gives me the anesthetic just came in and talked to me about that, asked me questions. And then I also just saw the surgeon and he got a pen and was like drawing out all the technical stuff that he'll need to like do the operation i'm not actually sure what and now it's going to be about an hour's wait and then we'll go into the operating theater and everything will begin about an hour after that the nurses came in and they wheeled me from my bed and took me into like the operating theater room ish and i remember on the way there i started to get a bit nervous i can't tell if i was nervous or like excited it was like anticipation, you know, because I was like, oh my god, like this is happening. The worst thing for me was getting the needle in my arm where they're feeding the anesthetic through. Oh, I hate needles. Like, I cannot stand them. I hate it, hate it, hate it. So yeah, they were feeding the anesthetic into my body and I kept having a nightmare. I remember this, like not an actual nightmare, but I was really scared that I was going to wake up mid-surgery. You know how that happens to a few people? It's so rare. I'm talking like more people get eaten by sharks, kind of rare. But it's got a name where people just wake up in the middle of surgery and they just see everything happening to them oh one thing though i looked rough when i came out of surgery like i looked like a ghost oh my god so i'm out of the surgery now it was all such a success um i'll tell you the story of basically what happened they put a needle in the back of my hand then i did feel tired and i just slowly drifted off um along with some oxygen as well and then that was that they did their thing and i woke up and i was in my ward or traveling down to my ward because they woke me up and yeah, it's all done, it's all a success. I can't tell you exactly what it looks like because I've got like loads of bandages on myself right now. Bit of blood seep through as well. But yeah, I'm really, really happy, I'm really happy. Like I genuinely watched those vlog clips back, like what did this bitch just say? It kind of reminds me of SpongeBob when he was dehydrated. I think it's the lips. I woke up and my chest felt really tight, but I didn't feel sick or ill or anything like that. There was just a massive tightness in my chest. I don't even feel ill whatsoever. I thought I'd wake up and feel so sick from the general anesthetic because they said to expect that, but I feel so normal. Only thing is I'm just going to go back to sleep now because I'm a little bit drowsy. I'm going to take a nap right here. I've also got these things on my legs, which like squeeze them and stuff. Again, I think to help circulation. <sighs> okay, I'm up. So it's about 3 a.m. I had about two hours sleep and I've just been awake for the past hour or so. I still feel fine. I don't feel sick or ill at all. My chest is just feeling very, very tight now. It's getting tighter and tighter as it goes on and I think it's because I've been let down for a while. 
it's going from a laying down position to sitting up, which hurts the most. But when I go from a lying position to a seated position, it hurts so bad. It was just really tight, where I felt like short of breath and stuff, like getting up. I was like, oh, that was a whole workout. I don't know how long I was in surgery for. I want to say like two to three hours or something. Anyway, I spent the night in the hospital and I had to get picked up by a friend the next day. I wasn't allowed to escort myself out. Someone had to come and get me. But yeah, I spent the night there in the hospital. It was actually quite vibey. I remember just watching Shane Dawson documentaries and just being so happy that I had new boobs. So I was vibing out, honestly. And I was by myself. It was private. Oh, the only thing was though, I was really tired at one point and I was going to sleep, but the nurses would come in to check on me like every hour and a half to two hours. And they do some kind of checks where I had to wake up and speak to them and stuff. So yeah, the sleep did not go down well. Classic thing that I did, by the way, if you guys are new to my channel, I lose everything. I'm just, I, I, I can't really look after myself very well. <laughs> I had to bring my own sports bra, like recovery bra. I don't know what the actual name of it is, but you have to wear this thing for six weeks after you get your boob job done to help them heal and to keep them supported. But yeah, I just presumed that they would provide the aftercare bra for me on the day, but I had to bring my own and I didn't and I really needed one. And I chose to call Kami. So I FaceTimed Kami and I was like, hi, can you bring me an aftercare bra? And he was like, what? What the hell is that? He was so out of place. <laughs> So not in his element at all. But yeah, then Kami came with his friends and picked me up at like 1 p.m. the next day and I went back home and I felt fine. I was kind of vibing. I walked out of the hospital. I was just kind of walking a bit like this, but I was feeling good. <laughs> my boobs felt like they were glued to my chest for like a week afterwards. Actually quite a few weeks afterwards, very slowly and gradually over time, they began to like drop and fluff. If you're thinking about getting a boob job or I've done any research, that's something you'll come across a lot, the term drop, because that's what happens. When you first had your boobs done, your boobs are up here. I'm talking they on your collarbone. You can see and feel why it's called plastic surgery because they felt plastic. Like I tap them and break my finger kind of vibe. And the main reason for wearing the aftercare bra is to kind of help them stay in place but also give them room to drop a little bit because after you've had your boob job over the next coming months and even the first few years your boobs are going to drop and kind of fluff out in other words become squidgy feel a lot more natural sit in a more natural place one thing i remember after i got my boobs done i couldn't see what they looked like for a few weeks afterwards because obviously they were all taped and bandaged up so i didn't know what the actual shape or appearance of my boobs were i just had to trust that he'd done a good job i feel like it was about two weeks before i saw what they actually looked like like because I went back to the clinic for the checkups and then the nurse like took the stitches off and like unbandaged it and rebandaged it and all that kind of thing and just after she'd taken the bandages off to put the new ones on she said go into the bathroom like have a look see if you like them and I remember standing there looking at them being like nice <laughs> I was like this is what I've been waiting for I can't remember the exact timings but it took like a while for them to drop they kept that plasticky like upright appearance for about probably like four months you know it was quite a while and then just gradually over time they just dropped and became a lot more natural looking and now two and a half years later like they feel and look so unbelievably natural like you would have never guessed that I'd had a boob job kind of thing and that's where I'm like Great, you would never know. Like, I don't want them to look natural. I want them to look fake and plastic how they did when I first got them done. No, maybe not that extreme, that was too much. But my favorite boob era was probably like six months, eight months maybe after I got them done. I remember in that time period being like, I hope they stop now, I hope they've done dropping, like please stop, stay like this. I still prefer them way more than what they look like before I got my boobs done. I feel like not a lot of people know this, but when you get a boob job done, you're committing yourself to getting like more throughout your life. One set of implants aren't gonna last for like 80 years. You have to get them replaced Otherwise, you're like risking health factors and also the appearance I guess But yeah, the classic time span is you have them for 10 years and then get them replaced every 10 years And how I live my life. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing I don't really know but I just thought you know what I'll cross that hurdle when it comes to it I'm good for another 10 years. Oh my god guys. I forgot to tell you this is also what happened I got my boobs done and went out clubbing the night after I was so impatient because they looked so good and I was so happy that they looked good. They still had the tape on them and stuff, but no support bra. This is why I shouldn't have got it done when I was 18. Because I'm 
I'm a mess now, but I would not do that. Like, I'm risking wasting all that money for one night out. Like, bitch, you went out every weekend anyway. Can you not just miss one? It was a Sunday evening as well, on the Lord's Day. It makes me feel ill that I did that. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe I did that. God's sake. I'm pretty sure you can't even shower for like the first week after your boob job until you get the tapes replaced. But no, here I am going on a night out. Like, I had to use wipes and like the sink and stuff to wash. It's kind of long. Wore the support bra for like two weeks after that and then I just didn't wear it one day. Wore it the next day. Didn't wear it for three days. Wore it after that. I was just wearing bras instead because I'd already bought like actual bras in my new boob size and I wanted to wear them. But if there's one thing that you should take from this video is don't do that. In terms of regretting my boob job and stuff, I regret a few little specifics. Like I regret not wearing my bra properly for the aftercare. I don't know if it made a massive difference or it didn't even make any difference, but it's the fact that it was a risk I was willing to take. Like, idiot. Don't go to one place for your consultation. Go to a few different places because they all have different implants if i was to go back and do it again i'd find a place that had the lightest implants that was the most durable these are just very heavy they feel good they feel satisfying but they heavy i wish i got them done a little bit older as well because i feel like i wouldn't have made the same mistakes i made if i'd have had it done a few years later i would have been more educated and more aware of what i was doing i don't regret getting a boob job though i absolutely don't there's just specifics within the boob job that i regret that are really important to pay attention to. Okay, I'm gonna answer some questions now. Was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it, 100%. Even though there are things that I wish I'd done differently, it was the first step to becoming a new me, I think. You know how before I said that before I got my boob job done, I'd gained a lot of weight and then lost it. When I gained the weight, I felt so low about myself and so insecure. Pair that with your best friends being guys and you living with guys. I didn't feel feminine at all. Like I was very masculine-like in the way that I acted and stuff, which is completely fine if that's you, but that wasn't me. The only reason I was acting like that was because I felt insecure, I didn't feel feminine, I was one of the guys so I just feel like I really lost myself and when I got the boob job done I was like I felt so like a girl <laughs> so confident so feminine and it just had a knock-on effect to like molding my personality into what I'd always wanted it to be basically the butterfly effect because I got my boobs done I felt more feminine and felt more confident so it gave me more confidence to do the things that I wanted to do in life meeting new people making specific videos wearing certain outfits and they're all elements Elements that kind of contribute to your personality and who you are. So I feel like my boob job kind of made me who I am today. <laughs> played a big part in it. Can you see scars? No, I actually can't see any scars. Really, really, really faint ones. I got like an anchor scar kind of thing, so that's how they cut. Under the boob to put the implant in and then up here for the uplift as well, so it's like a little anchor. That is one reason why I convinced myself to get it done when I was 18 or thought that it was a good idea, was because I was like, I'm not gonna get scarring if I get it done so young because my skin's so fresh and like self-healing in a way. And to be fair, there is no scarring. Like, I don't think anyone would ever notice that I got a boob job from the scars unless they got really really up close and was like feeling and analyzing the skin then you start to like be able to tell. The scars are literally the same color as my skin they're not pink or red or anything like that. The only way you might be able to tell is because the skin feels a little bit different in those areas. Barely anything though. Do you still have nipple sensitivity? Now, when I got my uplift done, they like took my nipple off and put it back on again. I don't know how they did that and I do not want to know. I don't care. I do, but I, I care too much, which is why I don't want to care. It just makes me cringe and it's too late now anyways, so. I feel like my nipple sensitivity, if before they were like 100%, it's like 65, 70% sensitivity now. Like I can feel it, but it feels a little numb at the same time. I don't know if I'll be able to breastfeed. That is one thing. I don't know if I'll be able to. I guess I'll find out when I'm pregnant and stuff if they analyze it. When you get a boob job, apparently it's like 50-50 as to whether you can breastfeed in the future or not. I'd really like to, because I really do believe in breastfeeding. Like, I feel like it's the most natural thing. It could be wrong, just my own opinion. I wouldn't be surprised if I couldn't. I don't know. The fact that they took my whole nipple off and I can still breastfeed, like, really? How do you feel about having to have it done again? As long as I don't die during surgery, I'm calm. <laughs> Honestly, that's the main thing it comes down to. And as long as it doesn't get botched or mess up, I'm calm. I'm feeling pretty good about it to be fair. Looking forward to my next one. How long were you bed bound for? Not that long at all. I literally was bed bound for the day in the hospital and then when I got back to mine I took it really easy for the next few days. 
Oh no, I didn't. I went on a night out. <laughs> I was not bed bound. I refused to let that bed bound me. How painful was it on a scale of one to 10? Pain level, I would genuinely give five, maybe 5.5 .5 out of 10. Do they hurt your back and do you get back pains? No, I don't at all. I don't know if they're big enough for that. Other than that, I'm pretty sure I've answered all the questions. Everything else I'm seeing, I've already answered during the video. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys if you're thinking about getting one done or you just wanted to find out more information or you're just bored and on a random YouTube browse. Thanks for watching anyway. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video, which will probably be me in Bali. I go to Bali in a few days, so I'm really excited about that. Bye guys, see you next week.